In a world creating a million lines of code every day, how does security keep up? Tough question, easy answer. AppSec and dev teams working together. But how? To counter solution sprawl, scattered results, and an increasingly fractured dev landscape, your teams need a new generation of application security from Checkmarks. We enable secure software development across organizations, giving your teams the visibility they need with accurate, actionable intelligence to code boldly and securely. We've made the fundamental shift from point product to platform. One-click functionality to correlate all your security scans together without friction. Join us as we make securing the world's code easier with the Checkmarks application security platform built for the cloud development generation. Good evening, everyone. It's great to meet you all online. The world has changed a lot in the past decades. From the rise of mobile devices, such as smartphone, tablets, to cloud computing, which is on demand abilities of co computer systems resources. We see smart leisure, broad blockchain, and the recent multiverse, which is the ultimate iteration of internet as a single universal immersive virtual worlds facilitated by the use of virtual reality and augmented reality headsets. Distilling down all these uh, and behind all these innovations are codes, which is why we say the world is run on codes. And fundamentally, these codes carry security risks and each of these risks require to be tested and secure. Hi, I'm Laihi, Laihi Tan. Um, I run the, security, uh, the sales engineering for Chaiba in APEC, Middle East, Africa. Today, we will discuss about modern application developments, among which is software supply chain security, the challenge of it, and we also take a look at a typical supply chain uh, security attack. And finally, we uh, will look take a look at a potential solutions to be done by software composite analysis or SCA. What is modern application development on Mac? It's a new approach where we try or the attempts to create increased values through the software produced or application developed. It holds the keys to potential modernizations and software based digital transformations. This is done through the use of cloud native architectures, loosely microservices, database, service module, and so on. Due to these abstractions, application, application can be developed, assembled, or deassembled rapidly. And because the way that on demands of the aligned resource make available from clouds. Innovations or application developments can be done in near real times and rapidly. And hence, enormous or tremendous value can be abstracted from this process. As you can see, the building blocks of Max has changed from the traditional approach in one big monolithic applications to so-called Lego lines 
cloud native approach where things can be moved in and out, disassemble, assemble, and so on, package it rapidly. Of course, this new advantage or new uh, benefit come with new security risks. This is just one of the few risks that it carries, from container risks to infrastructure at code risks, API, open source, microservices, and so on and so forth. And we will see a lot more as this new, uh, new development approach matured. This, uh, this approach requires a new way of applications testing. As you can see, each of the modules require to be focused differently. At the same time, it needs to be the result of each of the testings need to be assembled or correlated in a single plane of grass. Just to share, we are part of the products of this new approach where we change our current best in breed engines. I can see in the middle from application securities to static code analysis to open source and so forth to just in time training. All these are done in the engine levels, modulize it. assembled so that they can be run on different cloud environments and correlated using a single layers or engines and interface to the humans using a unified dashboards and reporting modules. Not only that, we also answer to many developers request which is one click scanning where different parts of the codes can be then as put into a single platform with a single click and tested with the results aggregated into a single plane of glass. At the same time, externally, uh, with the shift left efforts, this platform riding of all different clouds are able to be integrated to the developer's ID desktops, connect to the CICD platform, to pipelines from the SCM, and done all the security checks based on the processes required. And everything is integrated to the ticketing systems. Today, we will focus on one of the challenge faced by our engines, where we try to address, namely supply chain securities. If you take a step back, we know that among all these new approach, gone are the day where a single developer develops or a group of developers develop everything on their own. We have approach, we have we has accepted a collaborative uh, uh, community over communities where uh, application developments are based on libraries of open source and these libraries are connected to others developers contributions and those are connected to others and so on and so forth and you can see the f change forming with these highly collaborative ecosystems things can definitely do 
a lot more faster with less effort. At the same time, attackers are taking advantage of these new collaborative environments. And if you look back, this chain of trust has similar, they draw similarities or parallels from the way that our physical world look like, right? Where suppliers of different sorts and parts and components are assembled and then shift to the required customers. And we can see that the software change, supply chains has its own source dependencies when engineers build and then deploy as needed. Among all there is uh, to deal with these supply chain securities, um, a group of um, cross organization vendors uh, has come together to form a security framework which has a checklist of standards control that prevent tempering and improve uh, integrate hopefully improving uh, integrities and secure pack and securing the packages and underlying uh, projects and as you can see you can ch check it out this is the salsa is a stand for supply chain level for software artifacts and it draw out many different threads in different elements which you can leverage on and use CISO uh, can take a look at how uh, the whole supply chain can be done uh, in terms of control and risk management. And if you need to go further uh, in terms of baseline standards, you can take a look at Executive Order 14028 uh, for suggestions to improve supply chain security and establish some baselines. Uh, of standards. Now let's switch gear to to see how a typical attack on uh, using uh, supply chain. Carrying the TTP, uh, okay. So what happened was that uh, in October, uh, a little bit of last year. Uh, cyber securities and infrastructure security agencies in US had discovered that a popular MPN package has contained malware, specifically uh, crypto miner uh, uh, that can be downloaded uh, as part of the implementation. So in a way, you get infected without you even uh, clicking on anything. Upon investigation, they also found out that there are other common modules, which is the command option argument or COA, and the configuration package uh, uh, modules was being infected as well. Um, the tactics uh, involved was after after the incidents was that the contributing developers to this package, his account was being compromised. And then uh, the malware, the specific lines that we saw just now, the lines of code was injected into the package. And this was being marked under maintenance uh, in a code UNC3379. You can look it up in the internet to find out more details. What Don did was that um, while this is being worked on, uh, the speed of the POC package was being published. The numbers of weekly develops the uh, downloads of these three packages amount to close to 30 million weekly, which means there are about 30 million applications out there got infected in one way or another without you even knowing it. What interesting from this incident was that the not only the uh, not only one single version was being uh, injected with malware. As you can see here, there is the major versions and the minor versions. 
was infected as well, which contributed to millions of downloads in one way or another. You can patch it up, upgrade or downgrade of the pet of the specific version. People still get hit without you even knowing uh, without you even knowing what hit you, right? You already have yourself infected. Gone are the day where the antivirus you can use the where you accept uh, stuff uh, through a virus infection. This was done uh, way, way uh, before uh, you even download a virus. As we can see, uh, looking at these incidents, uh, after analyzing uh, the backgrounds and so on and so forth, um, we found that actually um, software composition or SCA or software compositions analysis can be part of the solutions. Uh, of course, uh, developer hygiene, incident response, um, process procedures, um, proper software, bio material that uh, has to be mounted, uh, be assembled, had to be done properly as part of the. Uh, uh, security control and measure. But the simplest way is the SCA uh, or on these solutions. Why? Because uh, if you look at SC, how SCA is involved, we start out with open source um, analysis. We have software composite where we deal with all the different understanding of software involved. Then we uh, start to have exploitable path map up. Remember the change of relationships that we talk about. Then we talk about security containers, scanning and so forth. And now we talk about then logically the next step will be look into supply chain securities uh, in terms of SCA. In Checkmark, um, we we take a step, we took a step um, further uh, and we acquire a, a, a new startup called Dastico last year. Uh, where Dastico uh, we not only look at our current software bill of materials, Tasico provide us a new way of um, uh, handling supply chain attack where uh, dependencies are being uh, researched on to avoid uh, dependency confusion that we talked about earlier, where you have different uh, dependence, you have multiple uh, software packages are being infected, right? Uh, you have contributing developers, reputation investigations, and recommendations. You have both statics and dynamics analysis, or we call it detonation chambers, that deal with the behavior analysis and the continuous uh, processing using machine learning. So that we have continuously monitoring the landscapes as the track evolve, and all these are being summed out um, as a single plane of glass to to accurately pinpoint the different open source library detections, and with the new vulnerabilities being alert without uh, having to rescan uh, the packages and leverage on other track uh, Intel database and all being assembled in the single plane of glass or dashboards. From an incident point of view, uh, try results are vital for those who have done incident uh, response before, where results and recommendations can be done correlated properly in the on the dashboard itself, so that focus can be done and prioritized for remediations based on the exploitable path and recommendation from the systems. All in all, 
check marks has done what we can to evolve the next generation SCA so that you can include supply chain securities. But at the same time, the industry is evolving and this is the standard that the overall industry is heading. Hence, if you have uh, any requirements of to understand to need to understand supply chain risk please talk to the vendors you can talk to us as well and hopefully with the sharing of the last 20 over minutes it can help to shed some light on the new threats and the new evolvements of application developments and feel free to go to our website to learn more and get uh, about our uh, new SCA service and products. Thank you.